My name is Dia Lausa and I'm the owner and founder of Soul and Soul. So I started the business in November of 2021 and it was pretty much right after I graduated university. I went to MRU and I just really have a love for plants and then I love innovation and entrepreneurship as well. So I was just able to kind of collaborate the two and create something that I found enjoyable. So soil is pretty much everything in relation to the greenery, the house plants and the care for the plants. And then soul is just the aspect of creating community. Um, we have events in here, some, we have some private events, some community events, some bigger events, some smaller. So there's always something for, uh, for somebody to get involved in. Being close to the two Green Line stations is definitely going to be something that's really impactful and uh, exciting for Soul and Soul. I definitely think it's going to be good development for Calgary in totality, especially also being so close to it with the store. So we're definitely looking forward to that. I think small businesses are really huge in the city, first of all, especially in Calgary. I find that there's a lot of support for local businesses and I find them to be quite interesting because they're just a lot more personable. So you get that one-on-one -on -one customer, you know, owner experience, you get those uh, different items that you might not be able to find in other places. We have a lot of locally made items that are, you know, handmade here in Calgary, some things that you just wouldn't be able to find at big box stores. So some of the rare, more uncommon plants are locally grown. Uh, we have some things that come out from BC, some come from out east in Ontario. And I find that once you're able to get that one plant and you're able to get it to grow, then you start to fall in love with the hobby because there's something about seeing that new leaf pop up. When you do see that, I feel like it's a motivating factor to be able to care for the plant. One thing that I find really important is just trying to connect everybody in the community and try to get everybody to have an advantage out of this store. You know, you're kind of supporting a person and you're supporting their dream. You're supporting supporting the community and trying to pretty much create that interconnectedness between a bunch of different people in a local area and I feel like the small businesses is that, that mesh between everything coming together.